Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking Dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> You ready to start? <laughs> wow, what an intro. What an intro, dude. And they'll never see it. <laughs> Follow the Patreon at Daddy's Dungeon Pod at patreon.com. Just kidding, it doesn't exist. It'd be pretty cool, though. What do we even put on there? Just me, like, sucking dick or something? That's the, be- that's the behind the scenes clips. No, but, like, <laughs> what happened? What happened to the good old days where you would get a movie, right? Mm-hmm. You would buy a oh, movie. Oh, yeah. And then it, you had all your chapter selection, play, bonus features. What happened to that? Streaming. Streaming happened. That's what happened. Netflix well, happened. Hey, those bonus features were gas. Yeah, they don't do that shit anymore. They don't do that shit anymore. What are those, like, those movies? Uh, people collect them. It's like, oh, yeah, I have a fucking, I have a sealed box of Chernobyl or some shit like that, you know? Special movies where there's Vantage scenes in it. Bitch. Huh? Vantage, bitch. Uh-huh. That's what it is. No, but is there's there's certain movies that have those those bonus scenes that aren't main anymore, and they took them out of all streaming. So only if you want to see those fucked up scenes, like in, I think Chernobyl's one of them, you have to buy that Blu-ray CD if you want to watch it. That's it. Oh, I, I get what you're saying. Kind of like with what with uh, that scene that was taken off from White Chicks that we were talking about. Yeah. It's like an NFT, bro. That CD is an NFT. That's a Bitcoin right there. That's crypto. <laughs> Legit. It's like I am one of the maybe a couple hundred people in the world that actually own this movie with this scene in it. Yeah. You know? And you know, that kind of stuff is making a comeback. It's starting to become worth a lot. You know, not only not only uh, physical movies, but also physical games. Yes. See, the, but the thing with physical games is uh, we got God, brother. We got got. Why? Us, us, maybe not you, I don't know, but us digital game buyers got got. Why did you get got? So, I think it was Assassin's Creed. They just took the game back. Because you signed that this is their game and you're just using it. It's not, you don't own it. You just paid them to play it. Uh, so, so they you- just completely cut it off from existence. The only way you actually own the game is if you bought the disc and you could still play it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think it was an Assassin's Creed game. I and it's all in the in the small lettering, huh? But that's every game now. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Yeah, so I didn't get got because the games that I did get didn't get taken back. Because they're all disc. Well, I mean, it's not, not every game company is doing it, but they could if they wanted to. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure they all have it in the small writing and within an instant they could just revoke it like that. You know, and... Like, like last week, I said I lost two family members, you know, Kasi Mena's rest in peace and uh, Max Holloway's chin. <laughs> um, I actually don't think his chin's gone, by the way. I think, you know, it was just a, he wasn't really paying attention. I don't Robert know. Whitaker's is. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but uh, Poor guy, that looked terrible. Um, Space Marines 2, brother. I, I think it's Dunzo. It's Dunzo. Brother, Black Ops 6. Oh, dude. Okay, well, this... Brother. You have to keep in mind, not only is Space Marines... Um, Space Marines is and has been around for... No, yes, I understand. Decades, right? But... Yes. But it is not one of the most successful games... Video games. ...of all time. Correct. Call of Duty yeah. is. I know. But the thing is, is that Space Marines who came out with all this hype, and then, you know... Things were getting good, and then Black Ops 6 came out, and Black Ops 6 is arguably the best Call of Duty since uh, Modern Warfare 2019. The best one that's come out in recent time. Yep. Like, but, dro- like dropped one of the best Call of Duties that have dropped from open day in, uh, in years. But in Space Marines' short burst, it was good. It was awesome. And, it, and the hype that it got was well deserved and and i will yes? still play it yes okay i what my worry is is that all the player base is gone i haven't looked at the numbers like on steam and shit but i think the it's gone so how how many how much of a fan base do you think was gained off of this short burst that space marines 2 got i mean i i was reading a bunch of comments on that guy i watched luton 09 and everyone was like, yeah, I came here after Space Marines 2. I, like, I'm hooked now. I'm fucking hooked. Shit like that. Uh-huh. It, 
how people describe it is it's like Gears of War 1, 2, and 3. That's the feeling you get playing that shit. And that's like, in our generation, like our age, that's a huge, uh, what would you call it? Go to tier games. Go to tier. But that was like a huge thing in, in our lives, like a gamer life uh-huh. for Xbox, you know? That's up there with the Halos. Yeah. With the Call of Duties. Totally. So, like, those first three Gears of War is what Space Marine feels like. Just way better graphics. Gameplay is very well polished. Like I said, I will still play the game. You know, the homie finally bought it. And he's like, oh, I'll play. And then the Dodgers fucking are playing. So he's watching the Dodgers. I fuck the Dodgers, I mean. You know? Halo's up. Fuck. Yeah. How the fuck do the Yankees even make it to the playoffs? How? Playing like shit? Are you kidding me? The Dodgers stick out two towers. Oh my! God. Yeah, there was an edit of Freddie Freeman hitting <laughs> in the twin towers. He took out the Mets and the Yankees. Oh. Both towers are down. Oh shit! Shout out Dodgers, bro. Twenty twenty four World Champions, which I've never liked the term World Champions because it is not the world competing. Why are you here. shouting out the Dodgers, bro? Well, because I mean, it takes a lot to do that. Okay, fuck you're a Giants fan, homie. Fucking put some respect on their name. Hey, man. Put some respect on the Buster Posey. I give respect where respect is earned. Know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be Yankees in seven, not fucking Dodgers in five. You understand? I didn't really care who won. Didn't care. But um, I've never liked the term world champions. Yeah, it does, for, doesn't make for, sense. For MLB, NBA, whatever. Mm-hmm. Never liked it. Because it's not. You're world not a world Cup. champion. World Cup. You see how they have Champions League? World Cup. You know? Those those make sense. Yes, absolutely. Europa those, League champs. Those make total sense. It should be American champions. Or just NFL champion. Or MLB champion. Or United States champion. Whatever. With some candidates. Well, there's actually... Uh, if you look at everyone's helmet now, they have the flag of where they're from. It's actually pretty dope. So I want everyone's home. They have a little flag. Oh, where they're from? Mm-hmm. Really? That's pretty dope. That is dope. So like Aaron Jones and the Vikings didn't expect it. German, bros, German. Oh, so you're talking about football? What about baseball? Oh, I'm sure. Sh- Shohei Otani got a little fucking, a little red dot on his shit. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. Like it shouldn't be a United States champion. It should just or American champions. It should just be whatever the fucking organization is. MLB champions. Yep. Major League Baseball champs, not World Series champions. Because it's not the world. It's not the world. Absolutely not. The only, the only, the only sport that does that is the best sport in the world. What sport is that? Soccer. That's it. That's it. Do you know that people think soccer is harder than baseball? I didn't know that. No. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't thoughts? say so myself. What baseball is fucking hard. But. Um, I don't know. I this would, is a professional level, by the way. Yeah, baseball. I would say baseball is absolutely up there with one of the hardest sports there is. But I don't know if I would say it's the hardest. For some reason, I think golf. No, I'm not saying the hardest. There. Golf, I feel like, is an extremely hard sport. I think baseball is harder than golf. And it's I just my perception of it. I mm-hmm. would say it's top three hardest sports. Top three. Golf. Wow. That's hard, bro. I feel like that is so fucking hard, and sometimes. What, what, do, you, what do you mean hard? You mean difficult? Okay, that's I'm, difficult. I'm, so, I'm taking everything into account: wear and tear, difficulty. Okay. Okay. Shit no. Like that. Okay. See, when I think hard or difficult, I'm just thinking. Um, the scenario I'm thinking of is when these guys get a hole in one from such a long distance. But how often does that happen? You're right. How that happens um, less often than a home run, obviously. Yeah. Right. But oh, what's uh, harder, a hole in one or a home run? I would say a hole in one. I would say a home run. Really? Uh, I think it's set. You're 72 feet away. Someone throw out a, a fucking a hydro flask at you, at 100 miles an hour, and you have to hit that with a fucking little stick. I, and okay, think about this. And you're hitting. You have less than a second to react. You have to make, literally. You can't even blink. If you blink, you miss the ball. That's valid. That's totally and valid. Shohei Otani hit like fucking 55 home runs. Okay, and think about this. In golf, you're hitting a ball... That's stationary. That is stationary. That is probably, what, two times smaller than a baseball? With 
a small stick as well into a hole that is ten times the distance of a baseball field. Okay, but and it's and, stationary. Yes, and the thing hitting it is like five times size of a golf ball. Okay, when the baseball bat is the same size as the baseball. Okay, valid. But you also have to think about um, stuff that's completely out of your control. For example, like uh, the grass, the uh, the wind. Right? You don't know where the wind could just suddenly change and take your ball in a completely different direction. You can say the same thing about baseball. You know? Look what wind does to a football. I'm just saying, brother. Baseball is one of the hardest sports out there. And I'm not denying that. I'm not denying that. But just the way I see it, I feel like... uh, Top three. Top three. Top three. I'll probably put it in my top 15. I feel like we, okay, obviously it's extremely difficult that you're getting a 90 mile per hour ball thrown at you, right? But I feel like you and I have more of a chance of hitting a baseball than we do hitting a golf ball and getting it relatively close to a hole in one. So you think that you could take Bobby Miller yard I don't even know what that means, bro. You think you can hit you? So you think you can take Bobby Miller, pitcher on the Dodgers, home run? Not home run. I don't have that power. But you just said closer to a hole in one. So what's? I think if we make contact, if we make solid contact with the baseball, we will get closer to a home run than a long distance hole in one. Hmm. Valid, you know. And so I'm not. I'm not fucking shitting on golf, you know. For your golfers out there, I'm just saying. I do agree. Baseball does come with a lot more wear and tear. It is a lot more physical. It 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 requires a lot more physical uh, exertion. I do add though, golf you need a lot of finesse. Any like 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 Chris Noodle said, bro. When he skates, just turning his fucking head in helps him rotate. Imagine the shit they have to do just to keep the ball going straight. You know what I'm saying? Just fine-tuning body mechanics. Yeah. You know? It's the little things, literally. It's the tiniest things. Like my cock. It's the littlest you know? thing. It's like if you put a, an extra PSI <laughs> of pressure on your big toe, that ball is going a completely different yeah. direction. So, I think every professional sport is hard. Yes. Yes. Let's preface that. But what, do you, what do you think is the easiest professional sport? Football. Really? I would say so, yeah. Not like swimming or something? Fuck no, not swimming. Hell no, not Versus swimming. football? Yeah. Football is... Football... I feel like a lot more people can can be decent at football than decent at swimming. Hmm. That, that could be true. That could be true. Wonder what... Ping pong? Because think about it. Think about a professional swimmer, right? I mean... It's not just one stroke that they do, right? It's obviously multiple different types of strokes. And, and you don't want to show your best stroke uh, at the very first time either. But, but I feel like... You want to show that later on. And, and so learning all those different types of strokes and being as proficient at them is a lot more difficult than, I would say, like running across field and catching a ball, my opinion. Uh, I just feel like I'm going to fight you on every single thing that we talk about today. And that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. So so you're telling me, by wanting to fight me on this, that you think you can be a better swimmer than a football player? No. So why are you going to fight me on it? Uh, that's true. It's Swimming's all year round. Think about this Football's well. only 18 weeks. Think about this. Think about this. If you were to take... Players from multiple sports and throw them in football or swimming, what do you think they would be better at? What do you mean, multiple players from where? Okay, so for example, like take LeBron James, Mm -hmm. take Lionel Messi, take Mookie Betts. 
throw, generational talent. Throw them in sw- throw them on swimming and throw them on football. What do you think they would all be better at? Football. Football. I would agree. Yeah, that's true. You it's know? true, but I, yeah, it's true. So, but you but you said I said what do you think is the easiest sport professional sport? You said football. Football. You could have said like no ping pong or something. Ping pong's fucking hard, bro. Let's be real. So you think ping pong's harder than football? Um, professional football. Professionally, I do. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm not saying it's more physical. What's what do you what do you think is harder about it? Well, what's what I think is harder about it is. Dude, have you seen the 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 hits they begin? The wrist manipulation. They'll freaking, they'll literally. It, it's like a it's like a baseball player throwing, hella curveballs. So what about like, Jay Jettas being double double covered, uh-huh. and then he catches the ball in traffic while getting hit. But yeah, but I think something like that is a lot more. Uh, let's see, most people know how to. Attempt to catch a football. This is different, though. This is Jay Jettas, bro. Uh, yes, I understand. But most people know how to attempt to catch a football, mm-hmm. right? Then they then they know how to attempt to hit a rotating ping pong ball. Yeah, but that's because that's it's more it's more out there. It's more available. When, when's the last time you actually watched a, a ping pong thing? And 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 that's why I think it's easier. So would you say tennis is harder than football? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. Bro, have you seen them? They have to like, and they slide like two feet. That, that's got to be. St- yeah, that's dude, hard. that's yeah. a hard sport. I would that's say a hard so. sport. Okay. Okay. Well, I want. I'm trying to gauge your your hardness here. Okay. Because it's not all about physicality. No, no, I understand. Wear and tear, physicality, uh, finesse, eye eye coordination. Okay. That I think that's like, coordination is in finesse. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All the shit you have to do, hand-eye coordination, all that stuff, is all in one thing. Okay. Okay, let's see. So, football's at your lowest tier right now. I'm just trying to gauge NASCAR. Ooh, that's that's hard as fuck, too. Did you actually know that... Smart Magistale <laughs> turn to the left. <laughs> <laughs> do you know that motocross is actually one of... The, I think it was ranked the hardest sport. I think we have talked about it. Yeah. I think we have talked about it. And... Uh, I, I can totally see it. It's because the you literally have to squeeze the bike with all your muscle and make that turn for like forty laps, every single turn. I can and that's see not it. A, that's not a NASCAR oval. That's like bump, 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 yeah. jumps, jumps, jumps. Yeah, for like forty laps. That's insane. So, uh, NASCAR is very hard, very underrated. Just like F one, you know. Extreme racing. Well, I think we can just generalize all those. Hard as fuck. Extreme okay. racing. So football's still there. Let's see. Volleyball. Volleyball, I would say, okay, if we're going S, A, B, C, D, Mm -hmm. right now football's at D. Wow. Okay. I'm putting volleyball probably, I put it at a C. Eh. I just feel like you're hating major right now. I'm not hating, I'm just getting major hater vibes. No, no, no. Well, I'm just... Think, I'm just putting it in my perspective because I think it's a lot easier to, to run a route than it is to to jump and hit the ball as accurately for volleyball. Clearly, you've never seen Christian Gonzalez. But that's just for my... You've never watched Christian Gonzalez. I don't even know who this is. Bro, was elite corner. Elite. Match okay, me. and obviously, <laughs> if I'm playing any of these sports against any professionals, I'm getting creamed. We're, yeah, but like, so let's just say, let's just say it's you versus you. Yeah. Don't you think your big body, fucking dumpy right there, gonna have some good defense on on for football? But my big body dumpy can move, or yeah, at least what, I used to be able to. You know what I'm saying? I got so agility. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or at least so I used to. So as you're going up for the catch, you're like this, right? Like that. Two-handed, and then you next thing you know, other hoser, defensive hoser, puts a fucking fist up. Boom, you dropped it. Fuck. Now everyone hates you. Oh, you're a fucking professional football player. Why didn't you catch that? You just have a guy in your face. You have a guy in your face. Why couldn't you catch that? You fucking suck, and, loser. And I'm thinking about volleyball, right? Volleyball? I don't, I don't, got, the, I don't brother, got the hops in, like in that. In PE, brother, I was goaded. I was diving and shit. Easy money. And that was me. Like, 
goaded. Okay, so would you say that? How would you? How would I you would put volleyball under football. Volleyball under football. And in the whole skill of harder, like so, so from S to D. I, I football's about a B. Okay. And the only reason I give it a B is because of the amount of time they're actually playing. Because if you take like soccer, for instance, they play fifty-two games a year in their season. That's not even including any of the cups that they play. However many that is. Champions League, fucking all the cups that they join. So they're playing upwards of like 60 to 80 games a year. You know? That's tough. Absolutely. Yeah, let's get out of the sports talk, bro. Anyways, welcome back, everyone. An uh, football <laughs> is way harder than ping pong. Football is, the, <laughs> football is the hardest sport known to man. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, I've been, I've been watching. I mean, since we're... In the spooky vibes, it's Halloween, right? Okay. But this is coming out a little later. Um, I've been watching a lot of horror movies. Have you gone to the iceberg? No, 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 no. I just like a lot of mainstream horror movies. Sorry, brother. His fucking nutsack is cheering. My nutsack <laughs> is cheering. They're ready. Um, no, but I'm watching the Scream movies, right? Oh, nice. And they're great movies. You think so? Yeah, I, dude, I love them personally. I think they're a little corny. I think um, that is meant. Oh, okay. That's Sl- what they're going for. They're, they're a, a bit of it. A bit of it, right? Um, but I can't help but notice every single movie that I watch. And obviously, these are our movies. And I always scream at every character. <laughs> you know? Get up! Get up, bitch! Not just that, man. Whenever a character has an opportunity and saves themselves, right? By, you know, beating the shit out of their opponent or whatever, it's always just one hit to knock them down. It's never like, oh, you're on the ground. I'm going to keep bludgeoning you. Yes. With this vase. Yes. I'm going to keep. And then they come back and. They end up killing you. So what always happens, right? <laughs> they hit them with a bat in the head or something. Spoiler it knocks alert. them down. No, no, no. It's just this is just Spoiler a alert. random scenario. They hit them in the head with the bat. They knock them down, and then suddenly they like look away. They turn back, gone. Oh, fuck. Batman. That that that's always what happens. That's always what happens. And I always think to myself, like, bro, if if it were me, I am not letting that You're happen. Pulling a Negan. I'm pulling a neek and whatever that may be. Oh, fuck. Who, who's that Asian guy in Walking Dead? I totally forgot. I'm blanking here. Glenn. Glenn. He beat the fuck out of Glenn till his fucking eyeball was popping out of his head and his head was mush. Oh, see, I didn't make it to that part. <laughs> that's, who he, that's who he looks like if he dressed as Negan. I swear to God. Y'all but would be like, yo, that's Negan. I am never, ever, ever going to stop until I know this person is done. I do not care. How bad it gets. I don't care how uh, crazy I may look. Do you think you think you get PTSD if you did something like that? Do you get like flashbacks? Personally, I don't think so. But you never know. You never know. The I don't mind, think I would either. The mind can do wild fucking things, extreme things. I was I was a little uh, sleep deprived today, and I could have sworn I saw somebody. Uh huh. And that's what was scaring me. Saw some saw somebody how. Like, just, like, out of the corner of my eye, and I looked, and I was like, oh, someone's walked by me. And I looked, and I was like, no one's fucking there. Yeah, the, the mind is a dirty fucking trickster. The ghetto boys, they know what it's about. They know I, that the mind is insane. Yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. I was up till about one thirty, And I said, fuck you, go to sleep, bitch. Because I could have stayed up all night, but I had to get to sleep. Yeah, and you know what happened to me recently, dude? Since we're on the topic of the mind and how crazy it is, this is fucking insane. You took mushrooms? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> So I was trying to get to bed, you know, and this is roughly around. I stayed up a little later than I usually do. It's not too late. But, uh, a little, little, little later. A little later, right? And um, I was trying to get to bed, and I sleep with the fan on. That, that I, I use that as a white noise. But in trying to go to bed, my mind was still awake. My body was tired, but my mind was awake. And whenever I, I tried to force myself to go to sleep... I started overthinking, right? Uh-huh. And it's not just a bunch of shit. It's one specific thing. That's the worst. So I pictured myself. Have you ever seen Reservoir Dogs? 
Uh, no. Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. So there's this specific scene where uh, this cop gets tied up to a chair and tortured, right? Okay. And I was picturing myself in the cop's position. So maybe you were dreaming. I wasn't dreaming, bro. I wasn't dreaming. I promise you, I was fully awake. I was not dreaming at all. Did you, like, just watch it recently? No. No. And it wasn't even just that scenario, but it was always a scenario of me being tied up and somehow um, not tortured, per se, but just being... Fucked hard. (laughs) I wish. (laughs) (laughs) But just kind of bound, you know? (laughs) Yeah, that, that's what it was. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And so whenever I started thinking of that, I just started panicking. Wow. I started panicking, and I would I would open my eyes and like I can't I can't fucking sleep. So this okay, <laughs> this haven't ha- oh, fuck this hasn't happened to me in a long time, but do you remember like as a kid, you would like be taking a shower and you're like rossing your hair and you didn't want to close your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened to me like a oh, couple of days ago. Really? Yeah, and I was like. So, it used to happen to me a lot as a kid where I get scared, and I was like, oh, fuck that. So, I'm, like, washing my hair, and I thought I heard something, and I was like, I was like, yeah, I can't imagine that shit no more. I'm a fucking grown adult. And I was still washing. Oh, I was terrified. (laughs) I was like, I can do this, I can do this. And I swear to God, I swear, the shower curtain moved, and, like, the, the colder water that's, like, condensating on it touched my leg, and it was, like, freezing. And I was like, what the fuck? And I just kept my eyes open, just burnt my eyeballs with the soap. It was terrifying. Yeah. And we've talked about it before to where I'll like go downstairs, right, to scare myself. What? You remember? You go downstairs to scare yourself. So, so what happens is like sometimes I'll, I'll want, because scare horror movies don't do that for me. They don't scare me, right? I haven't found a movie that fucking genuinely scares me in forever since I was a kid. So... Um, I, I'm pretty sure I've told you, but what I'll do is whenever I go downstairs to maybe like get some water or whatever it may be, I'll leave the lights off. I'll leave the lights off and I'll start thinking like scary things. You're, you're fucking a psychopath. No, 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 You're no. a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I'll start thinking scary thoughts just to get that like rush of scary that, that I'm lacking from the movies. And then, and then. That's what happens. You're a psychopath. I'll start getting a little scared, and then it'll, it'll, I'll start running up the stairs. I'll fucking dash <laughs> up the stairs. That does it for you? That does it for me, yeah. But um, but this this feeling I got with the thoughts of trying to get to bed, they were different, bro. Because I felt like I was actually bound in bed, you know? Oh, you had a sleep paralysis. It wasn't even that. I was wide paralysis. awake because I was able to move around. Okay. Because uh, there was times where, like, the thoughts became too much. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go on my phone for a little bit. See if that gets my mind off And then someone's getting bound. No, no. And, like, I would go on my phone for a little bit. I'll try to sleep again. But my mind was too active. You know? And it just kept happening. You should have just called me. I would have come over and fucking slept. Uh, Until eventually, until eventually, I just kind of willed myself to bed. That's what I had to do last night. Just will it. The thing is, is that. Instagram knows when you're ready to go to bed. It's like, oh, this motherfucker's in bed charging his phone. I'm going to start putting the scary stuff after maybe 20 reels. <laughs> but then, it's, then it's like, oh, then he's not going to go to bed anymore because he's too scared. Too I think, scared. I think that's your cursed-ass timeline. I, 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 don't, I don't be getting that kind Timeline's, of stuff. Timeline's, uh, it's, it's, it's bugging out still, like I mentioned. Uh, it, it's coming back. We're getting there. We're getting there for sure. I had, uh, I had noticed something when, when I was editing that this is for the people who only listen, okay? Listeners only. There's a lot of times where Jose's talking and I have opportunities to answer verbally, but I tend to make a lot of faces. And I'm wondering what they think if they're just listening. I'm making a face all the time. I'm like, you know, some dumb shit. Give me an example. I, like right there, I just made like a, I don't know, you'd be talking about something, I go, like, I, like you know that I'm eager about it, so you keep talking. But instead of me saying, oh, fuck, I'll just make a face. And they don't know that. The, the listeners only people don't know that. But that that's what, I mean, with anything, that's what you get 
that's what you lack when you're just listening. For example, like I, I listen to Kill Tony all the time. Yeah. Right. And there's some things when um, they they joke about certain things. There's some things you lack because you're not watching it. Right. For example, the last episode I was listening to, they were talking about this guy having ginormous fucking titties. <laughs> and I wished I was watching it just so I can see how fucking giant these titties were, you know? And that that's that's what I... Uh, that's the decision you make. That's the sacrifice you make when you decide to listen opposed to watch. I mean... Because sometimes you can't always you can't always watch, yeah. but you always want to listen like, at least. Like, so I don't really... I haven't been watching Kill Tony for a while, but like YMH, I always want to see the clips, you know? Yeah. But I'm on the fucking freeway. I'm yeah. Not gonna, I'm not going to whip that bitch out. And, and not only that, but it's like... <coughs> For example, when I used to listen to YMH, I never watched a single episode. I always listened. Why? Um, mainly because I was usually at work and I couldn't just sit there and watch it. And two, whenever I did try and sit and watch it, it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. I never I totally really wanted agree. to sit and watch it. Totally agree. You know? It's something I have on the car in the background and I'm kind of active. So it's happening again where I put YouTube on. And I started daydreaming while driving. Ah. And then I got to go back 120 seconds. I just keep clicking that shit. Gotcha. Got. What do you think that is? Uh, my mind's like probably not focused on shit, you know, which is me thinking about other shit that's going on. I, I, I catch myself doing it a lot. And I'm like, why the fuck am I even watching the video if I'm not going to pay attention? Uh huh. But yeah. Happens. It happens. Uh, dude, I'll, I'll even do that with movies. So, like, I'll be working, I'll play a movie, but I'll just want to listen to it. Or, like, um, I did that with Dexter most recently, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but you've seen that shit so many times, it's already in your brain. Yeah, yeah, I already know these characters, I already know kind of, like, how their how their facial reactions would yeah. be. And so it's, so it's kind of like you're watching the show I'm all playing over it again. In, I'm play it's being projected in my mind. Yeah, how you, how you see it. Doesn't and it, and like, sometimes that's even better yeah. because I can I can make it what I want. It kind of goes but ties into to the book thing. You remember yes, how some people say yes. books are better than movies yes, because, because they, they make have, it what they want. Well, and it's because they have that ability in their mind to be able to hear voices as they read that, like or themselves. They can hear themselves think. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I guess not everyone has that fucking L, fat L. Sorry. No. no, but yeah, I, I tend to make a lot of faces, listeners. So if you if, if I'm a little silent at times when when Hoser's talking, I do apologize. It's I'm usually making a face or some sort of reactionary facial image. <laughs> you know, like oh fuck, right there. I just kind of open my eyes a little wide. Dude, I haven't even noticed that. Yeah, it's it's the stupid fucking shit I noticed while we're editing. The stupid shit. You know. Oh well. What can I do? But some not everything needs a verbal reaction. I know, I know. But I'm just wondering what like what goes through their mind. Ah, okay, okay. It's like why why did motherfucker talking? See, and and because there was a time where you were talking for a couple minutes, and I just was, mm hmm mm hmm But I kept making faces, and I was like, I was like, damn, motherfucker, say something, say something, motherfucker. But I feel like that's kind of good to where they can interpret it however they like. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It's like, oh, damn, Dill's a little scared right now. Or, oh, shit, he's shocked. There, there is a lot of times where you, you tend to scare me with things. You say, like, the you going downstairs with the lights off. That was a little scary. <laughs> stop it. It's the, no, stop it. Who does that just because you want to get scared? <sighs> you fucked up, homie. Who puts Brother, hot sauce on their food? Brother, when this fucking... People that need some spice in their fucking there, life. There's times where I'm on the couch, right? And I have all the lights off in the house. But this room seems oddly darker than the rest of the house. Valid, yes. Okay. And it's like, okay, that room is... This room right, that we're in right now is way darker than the rest of the house. I'm too scared to even come turn the light on. I, I fucking have my flashlight on and I turn the light on over here just to kind of semi-light this bitch up. Yeah. That shit scares me. See, if I lived here, I, I would probably come into this room and sit here for a couple minutes with no lights on. That's fucking... <laughs> that's chaotic. I would just ramp up my, 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 my scary meter. <laughs> I'd fill that fucking Monster Zinc vial up. 
that shit would be you know it's uh that yeah that shit kind of scares me why what's so scary about it the that it's just so much darker than everywhere else oh i thought you meant like that i would do that that's it it, it worries me worries you why i don't like it but I mean, at I least at like least it. you know that there is feeling there. If I were to do that, yeah, at least you're not I, a fucking robot. And I didn't get scared. I think that would be a little more valid to be worried. Uh, don't you think? Isn't that kind of like Aspergers in a way? They can't. They don't really know how to control their emotions, so they don't really feel anything. Or a psychopath. Yeah, that's what I'm calling you. No, but what I'm saying is, psychopaths they typically don't, feel shit. don't have emotions. I was watching that Zodiac show. They have a new Zodiac show on Netflix. That show was pretty good. I did see that. And they're like 100% certain this is one guy. Why didn't they come back sooner? Why didn't they say shit sooner? Well, brother, because they knew Netflix was going to be a thing. They wanted to save it for streaming <laughs> so, okay, services. So what, what about that, that guy on TikTok who was like certain that it, it was his grandpa? Have you seen that? No. There's like this fucking... I don't... Is it trailer? I don't know if it's trailer trash. It's like... Uh, it's like a white boy from New Orleans looking, that's how he looks, with like face tats and like oh, silver teeth and shit. You're talking about what's his name from Suicide Boys. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> but he has like an accent, like a heavy accent. And he, maybe he doesn't have an accent, maybe I'm picturing that. Anyways. New Orleans. New Orleans. He is like, oh yeah, look, this is my grandpa, and he's actually been fucking linked to the Zodiac Killer. Like, they actually thought it was him, and I'm certain it's him. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's fucking wild. That shit, that shit's cool. That shit's really cool. I should take a deep dive on that. I've only seen just like the entry entry clip video. Imagine, never... imagine living with somebody like that. Imagine living with somebody that you're one hundred percent certain is a notorious serial killer. But he didn't know at the time. He's dead for sure. He's. Oh, that guy's dead. The grandpa's dead. Oh, R.I.P. Gramps. Yeah. Well, hey, they never got him. Never got Never him. fucking got him. Never got his ass. L. L for the police. This man caught a fat out dub. I hear Lawn Leagues is coming back in theaters, brother. Yeah, which is a little weird. Why? It's because it got a lot of buzz. And I don't think it got enough. They didn't market it very well. It was a, very, it was a low budget movie. And I think that it did so well internet wise, not like theater box office wise, that they're bringing it back. Daddy! Yeah, Fuck. totally, totally. I get, I totally get you. Yeah, so it's coming back. It did better numbers on Twitter than it did the box office. Yeah, but it did great numbers in the box office too. I, I that I don't know. Well, it got I me, to, it did. It got me to watch it. I, I hope it. You, you still gotta watch Never Let Go. That shit is gas, gas. Um, we had a Halloween contest today, and I, I didn't participate this year. You know, you know, Fat L. Yeah, yeah. Even people were asking me, like, oh, when are you going to dress up? Nah, I ain't doing it this year, buddy. Sorry. The f- kick rocks. Usually, usually, you're the one that be going all out. You I know? know. I know. You, 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 you bring the fucking cake to the table. So they, you know they, they everyone was all excited. Every time they would ask me, I'm like, I'm not dressing up. This is, this is what you get. Yeah. Fucking, you know, fucking yellow vest, baby. That's it. A yellow vest. It's just ordinary deal. It's me. But um, ev- everyone went all out, bro. Like, this time, people fucking really creative. I liked it. The one year. The one year you didn't participate. They're like, oh, you know what? They're, you know what? You know what it is? You know what it is? Hmm. You know what it is? The notorious champion ain't participating. We got a chance. <laughs> Same thing with the weight contest. Oh, yeah. the champ yeah, dude, ain't that's participating. Fucked. We that's got fucked. a chance. That's fucked. That's what it is. No, they didn't even tell me about the new one. That's fucked. Whatever. Whatever. So what was the best costume? Uh, can I show you? I would love to Have see Have you seen it. the Minions? Yes. So if I show you this, you would know who this is. Depending. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. Mm-hmm. It's the um, it's the evil guy that wears the sweatsuits. Yes. Oh, dude. Okay, so... That guy's sick. Okay. Pregnant evil guy that wears the sweatsuits? He has like a tummy like that. Oh, shit, okay. So I did not expect this. <laughs> it was awesome. The thing is, all those old heads don't know who that was. So, no. w- what the fuck did they think it was? All them old heads don't know what it was. 
All that, the old that's ones. what fucking sucks about this place. That costume's goaded. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> so they had like every person do a walk around, and she did that the first time, and I didn't record it, and I was like, "You guys do that shit again. I need it. I need that." <laughs> and uh, yeah, that shit was awesome. Um, you know, have you seen uh, Watchmen? No. Okay. Well, the homie dressed up as Roche. He's like a detective with like this cool mask that changes uh, shape when he has emotions and shit. And uh, that was cool. Homie Daniel dressed up as Blackface. Blackface? Black mask? Something Who? like that. Daniel from work. Oh, the homie, the homie controversial. <laughs> I, I don't know who he is, but I, like, yeah. Down there. I guess it's like a Batman. Uh, not villain. Oh, okay, okay. A, oh, a and side he's, hero. he's all into that. Into oh, he, that. His whole car is Batman shit. He's he about loves it. Batman. He's about it. And then th- this Anthony... He fucking dresses Wolverine. Oh, yeah. That's good, dude. Nah, dude. I'm pissed, dog. Fuck you, Daniel. I didn't cheer for Daniel. You don't know why? Because homie Anthony, you know, got the material. That mask that Daniel has, his friend 3D printed it. Wow. And a couple months ago... That's sick. Anthony got, like, the OG horned up fucking Wolverine mask 3D printed. Or he gave the schematics to the guy to 3D print it and gave him all the materials a couple months ago. And then, like, two days ago, Daniel's like, oh, yeah, he's not going to get it to you in time. And it's like, bro, why didn't you tell me that, like, a couple weeks ago? We have a little group chat, just the two of us, or the three of us. And I was like, bro, he just ruined his whole costume. Maskagate. Maskgate. Maskagate, yeah. I was like, bro, that fucking 3D printed Wolverine mask would be dope. That's what it was. Maskagate. Maskagate. And I was like, damn, I felt real bad for him. That would have been sick. Bro, he lost 20 pounds for that. For the costume? Yeah. That's he's like, lit. He's like, yeah, I want to get, get ripped for this. See, and just doing that is, is more than... So what he did was he just like kind of styled his hair a little differently, like how Wolverine would be. Uh-huh. It looks great. Yeah, dude. It looks fucking sick. So I, I was... I was uh, it looks sick. I just wish he had the mask. I wanted to see it with the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hope... His friend still makes the mask just so we can see it. So he's Logan, huh? Yeah. That's dope, dude. Right now he's Logan. That's dope. Um, it's funny because last year Daniel was, uh, I think it was like Red Wing or some shit like that. Another Batman kind of little hero. And uh, the person doing the, like, oh, we have Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yo, Red Wing. And then this year she goes, and we have Deadpool. <laughs> 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 Dude, we were fucking cracking up. That's Consuela, huh? Her actual name is Luz. She should have dressed up as Consuela. She, I know dressed, she, she actually dressed up as Maleficent. Oh, really? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Everyone went all out. I know she would have fit in that Consuela costume perfectly, though. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Housekeeping. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was good, though. Everyone did pretty well. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I, I wish I would have dressed up. Big Shady would have been a hit. Would have been a hit. It would have. And it would have been pretty easy, too. So easy. Bro. Okay, so you want me to tell you about my costume contest at work? Oh, sick. I won that bitch. What'd you dress as? Ricky Bobby. So with your fucking shitty fucking costume, you won. Yeah, because I, I was the only person that dressed up. What? On the whole job site. Today? Today. I was the only person that dressed Ricky up. Ricky didn't dress up. Nobody dressed up. The actual Ricky didn't dress up. Nobody dressed up except for me. Where's the fucking spirit? The, some of the goofiest motherfuckers ever, construction workers, are too grown to dress up on Halloween. They'd be humping each other and shit on yeah. the ladder. Oh, they and be, you won't dress up on Halloween? <laughs> they'd be doing some goofy ass stuff and they don't want to dress up. Would you win? I didn't win anything. This is just a personal contest because I knew nobody was going to dress up. What a I knew bunch be- of losers. I knew beforehand, I knew beforehand I was going to be the only person dressed up. What a bunch of losers. And I even told everybody, hey guys, make sure you bring your costumes, right? Make sure you bring your costumes. Then everybody said, oh, I'm just going to be a, a dirt, bag, dirt bag construction worker. <laughs> I'll be a piece of shit like I always am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they said. Exactly. But yeah. you know what though? Everybody was loving the fit. I yeah. was getting all kinds of love. Love? Yeah, everybody was digging it. Yeah, because you're bringing you're bringing light to their day. Like, oh fuck, he actually has the balls to wear a costume here, and everyone's like fucking in, 
jeans and boots. Yeah, I mean, I wore my boots. I have to, but yeah, you have to. I, I wore the suit, you know. Yeah. And 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 everybody, every person that I that I crossed paths with, they all either looked at me twice, or gave me a weird look. You know, or said something to their coworker, or whatever it may be. There was always a reaction that I got from my costume. I love that. I, every single person I crossed paths with, crossed paths with. I wish I, I wish that would have happened with my Guy Fieri costume. That's the one that haunts me. The Guy Fieri one. That all the old has had no idea who I was. See, and if you would have worn that costume at the construction site with nobody else dressed up. The love would have been immense. I just want to add this. If I would have worn that costume to the Twitch Fits, I would have won. No. No, you wouldn't have. From from what I've seen, I would have won. Did you see who won? Yeah, the fucking Weapon X watch. The X swatch? X. Yeah, so you would not have won. Because... You think that's... It was a great costume, but it was very biased. It, it was a dope-ass costume. Sick as fuck. So sick that they made it as well, themselves. Uh-huh. But... It's very biased because it is straight edge. They're not all straight edge, are they? Colin's not straight edge. Yeah. Is he? Totally. I've been wrong. And so that's just my opinion. Just my opinion, right? I'm, I'm not... It was a dope fucking costume. Yeah, super sick. Now imagine seeing Guy Fieri out there on the hardcore pit. Yeah. There were a lot of good costumes, though. I only saw, I only saw a few. A few costumes. I didn't see very many people. I hope everyone dressed up. Not everyone dressed up. Why? Any names? No. <laughs> None. I'm None. not calling anybody out like that. You know who you are. You know who you are. Motherfuckers. Motherfucker. I also also noticed on the on the pod. I said bitch a lot, like so much last episode. We've been reverting back to our episode one type of days. Yeah, but I said bitch a lot. I was like, please just. Sh- Stop saying it. <laughs> I was like, just stop. I was like, why do you have to say it? Bring the counter back. Yeah, that was... Uh, if anyone wants to go way back to our worst episode... Arguably our worst episode. No, a definitive our worst episode. Episode 1, Daddy's Dungeon. Uh, how, many fuck, how many fucks was it? Like 128 or something like that? Something crazy? I was thinking 256. I don't remember. There's 104 hey, days of summer go- vacation. Okay. One of your friends who rode bicycles... Guest closest to the correct and I then won him 15 bucks that motherfucker never tapped in after that he just got 15 bucks and just fucked me and left he's like oh here you go <laughs> left <laughs> <laughs> and I paid him that's some bamboozery <laughs> what do you know what I'm talking about yes I know exactly what you're talking about what happened to him is he dead or something I don't know bro just riding his bike now that's it don't listen to no podcast on that obviously not whack obviously not it's alright though it'd be like that you win some you lose some wow but you live you live to fight another day. That was such like a good time for us. Like the start of the pod. It was so good. You know what? I'm going completely off topic. Uh-huh. But <laughs> I just um, I just reminded myself of something I was talking about with the coworker today. What do you think is the most quotable movie? Quotable? Quotable. To this day. A coworker and I were talking about this. To this day. And what I just said is from that movie. What'd you say? Say it again. You win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know? No. It's a notorious movie. No. You know the movie. You've seen it before. Okay, okay. Guaranteed. Hit me with it. As a famous rapper in it. Hit me with it. Friday. I haven't seen that movie in a long time, brother. But you've seen it. Yeah. See, but I couldn't tell you, like, what people quote a lot. Damn. Yeah. That's one. Yeah, that, that's still going around. And it will forever. You think so? Dude, I, I absolutely think so. Not only that, not only that, uh, but the intro, bro, it's Friday. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get you high today. I think Pulp Fiction. Okay. English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Okay, that's a good one too. I've been I've been saying that for weeks now. That's a good one too. In a row at work, to some dumb shit that people say. They'll be saying the dumbest shit, but like English motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah. That, that's a that's a good one. That is a good one. Personally, I think it's Friday. And I, but the thing is, I 
the, I'm, I'm biased, of course. I'm because, blanking right now because that movie is is one where I know quite a bit of them. I, I'm totally blanking. Uh huh. Blanking. I got nothing up there. I already throw out my only fucking power move. And and. I also say Friday because I'm not the best with movie quotes like that, and this one, I am. So it's kind of like if it if it if the movie gets me to that point to where I know quotes from it, I feel like it's very quotable. Can anyone tap in and see if there's other movies that surpass Friday? Bro, I bet you there's a bunch. I bet you there's a bunch. And the topic came up because Talladega Nights, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. If you ain't first, you last. Shake it and bike it. So shake your bike. That's why the topic came up. Because you're Ricky Bobby. Because I was Ricky Bobby and everybody was saying that shit to me all fucking day. Okay, question for you. So when I dressed up as Russell and I went to that party, I did Scout's Honor every time someone wanted a beer. Wilderness Explorers. I was like, Scout's Honor. Pop their beer. Every Mm. person. Every single time. Even if they got five beers, I popped it. And I did that every single time. Were you in character? Was I in character? Yep. Were you Ricky Bobby? Or were you just dressed as Ricky Bobby? Because I was Russell. I was Ricky. I will say that. You was turning left? I wasn't the Bobby. I was Ricky. You was fucking Ricky. I was half there. Uh, see, you, you think that movie's quotable too? I feel like there's... Which one? Which one? What about Holes? <laughs> I say that shit a lot. Fuck no. I'm tired of Scrabble. Okay. That's too damn bad. <laughs> yeah. That's too damn Because like, yeah. I'll be at work tired and be like, I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's a good one. There is that one, too. Yeah. But by most quotable, obviously, it's multiple scenes. That's the only scene out of that whole fucking movie mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that people mm-hmm. know. It, it, it's, a good, it's a good quote. How come every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen? <laughs> in the goddamn refrigerator. Eating all the food. <laughs> Who do you say that to? Who do you think? Of, who do you think about that? What do you mean? Like, clearly, if you're thinking about it, you 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 think about it so, about. Ugh. Oh no! I don't. Like I don't. you see someone and you think that in your head. No, 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 no one at all. It's just that that it's imprinted in my mind. It's so imprinted in my mind that I have the fucking the script. Okay, so for me, it's not movies. It's more like memes that I quote. So it's like, there's like this, uh, it's like a vine. It's like this black guy opens up a bag of chips like real quiet. And then all the kids stick their head in the, in the room and goes, I can't have shit in this house. <laughs> I say that all the time. When, like, if something doesn't go my way or someone tries to take something that I'm using, I can't have shit in this house. Just like, I quote that all the time. And that's a vine? It's a vine, yeah. Okay, hilarious. Okay. Hilarious vine. Or like, I don't quote it, but I think about it. You know that guy who has headphones in at lunch and he's like crying so hard listening to the song. He's like, <gasps> oh, he's hit the table and shit. Yes. yes. I think about that a lot too. Like when something sad happens like that, I think about that in my head. But you're like a meme lord. Yeah. You're not so much of a movie, movie whiz. Guy. I know. That's why I can only give you one quote. You know, you're a meme lord, not a movie whiz. Yeah. Right. I'm not saying I'm a movie whiz, but I definitely watch, watch a lot a more lot than of you. Mo- you're a movie whiz. No. You've seen a lot of movies. I wouldn't say I'm a movie whiz. I'm like apprentice. A, I'm like yeah. I'm like a movie novice, right? Okay. I'm okay. a movie novice. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay. You got to think of something that's not Friday or Talladega Nights. Quote off the top of your head. Movie. Uh huh. Dude, that's so hard. There's there is another one I use a lot. It's not a movie. It's a show. Sopranos. Don't disrespect the pizza parlor. Okay. I used that yesterday. See, the first thing that came to mind was Freddy versus Jason, but I can't think of anything. I feel like that is a very quotable movie, too. Yeah, it's because Freddy says some weird shit. Freddy's goaded, bro. Yeah. Freddy is... Did you call that number? He's elite. I didn't call the number. It was actually pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Freddy is elite. He's elite. No one's... He's at the top of the list. Didn't Jason win? Um, well, you can never beat Freddy, though, bro. I don't know how that universe works. I'm not... Like, I've always seen Freddy vs. Jason. In reality, you can never beat Freddy, dude. Why? Because you can always escape a physical killer, but you can never escape your mind. Wow. And he gets you in your dreams. That's even worse. Exactly. You can never escape your mind. You can always escape Jason by running or whatever it may be. <laughs> right? <sighs> but you can never escape your mind. 
So at in my opinion, with that alone, he got you right there. Also, I'm going to go a little off topic here. Somebody dressed up as Jason, and sh- the the lady called him Justin. Oh, we have Justin. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, see, the thing is, like, where does Michael Myers get the super speed from? Well, you my, tur- you turn around, boom, he's there. Bro, Batman. My, Michael Myers is literally like a a, a a demon spawn baby. Is that what he is? Well, in 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 other movies, the, these babies, um, this baby was put under ritual and shit like that. You know, and that's Michael Myers. That's Michael Myers. He's the devil, bro. Damn. So he 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 got powers like that. I I mean, apparently he be he be he be here one second and fucking across the planet the next. He's had like eighteen movies. That's so pretty pretty believable. But yeah, like legit, you turn and he's there. That's that's terrifying. That is terrifying. See, movies like that don't scare me though. No, but I mean, no, they don't scare me either. It's like the church movies, the demonic movies. That shit scares me. Because to me, the that supernatural. Could be real. Yeah, the supernatural. Go to show, by the way. Go to show. It's I. Right. I love it. That very cheesy. It did, but I also watched the show when I was twelve. So who knows how good it is now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth, worth, worth a rewatch. No, not in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, what what killer do you think you could get away from? Um, I can get away from Ghostface easily. I'm fucking beating the shit out of him. Don't you think he has super strength or something? No, he's a he's an ordinary fucking guy. It's just because people are retarded, they can't get away from him, huh? Yeah, they're stupid, dude. Okay, valid. They're stupid. Valid. I can get away from Ghostface. I can get away from Jason. I can get away Jason's from Jason's different, bro. That man's got super recharge strength. He's got super recharge <laughs> strength, but bro, come on, like that's a real thing. You you ain't you ain't catching me, dude. I'm hopping in my whip. I'm doing that thing. Okay. You're not you're not catching me. What about Leatherface? I'm getting away from him too, bro. That's just another tard. Oh my god, that's an inbred. That's different. Very. They don't got the strength. I don't know how he's got strength. Um. I'm getting away from him too. He's not catching me. He's not catching me. Okay, Pinhead. I never seen that, so I can't speak on it. That motherfucker be teleporting and shit. I feel like he probably got some some Jedi powers. Probably like be levitating and you shit. You get away from Darth Vader? Uh, no, dude. No way. Let's be real. No. Oh, that's okay. I was chirping every costume. You know, I'm a good chirper. And I was I was next to the homie Cole. Bro, we were cracking up. So Darth Vader comes out. I was like, oh, choke me, daddy. <laughs> I would say it out loud. I would say the dumbest shit, bro. It was awesome. Uh, what villain? Like, I couldn't get away from any villain at this point. Uh, oh, not with, One, your, not with yeah. your bum knee. And that's been bothering me lately that I'm thinking, like, it's something I think was like, if I have to run, I'm dead. I've, we talked about this before, but it's becoming more apparent because my knee is actually killing me the past couple weeks. Uh huh. Like, it's been hurting. The only ones I really think I'm not getting away from or probably um, Freddy Krueger, undoubtedly. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting away from him because I love my sleep. I, I need to sleep. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, probably Jigsaw. I'm not getting away from him. So you wouldn't, like, shove a hot pike up your asshole to get out of a trap? Well, now, once I'm in the trap, he's gotten me already. I'm talking about the sneak attack with the needle and, like, knocking you out. He's too sneaky, dude. How does no one catch his bitch ass? What do you mean exactly? Well, we were, you were showing me that YouTube video of all the traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ranking them. I've never seen the Saw movies. Okay. Okay. I've seen Scary Movie with Shaq in it and Dr. Phil. That's all I know about Saw. Uh-huh. I, I couldn't tell you anything else. So I don't I don't know nothing about this serial killer fuck. He, he's a mastermind, bro. And, and technically, people say, technically, he's not even a murderer. Because it's not him doing the killing. And, yeah, they're fucking stupid it's for not, thinking it's, that. It's not Do him. Do you think that? I don't think so. Yeah, because he's putting them in there. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a. But the thing is, that's he's a putting sick bad and twisted from what, human From what being. I've seen, he puts bad people in there. Yes. Well, majority. Right. No, he always puts bad people in there. I thought there was like some mothers and shit in there. Actually, you know what? I, that's a that's a lie. He doesn't always put bad people in there. He just he puts people in there that don't value their life. As much as he thinks they should. Right? So he's still narcissistic. At the least, he's a narcissist. 
I, I I guess I what is I guess get it off this topic, brother. Um, this this will already be out by the time this episode drops. I just want to say that I'm very fucking proud of us, and I'm happy, and I just want to thank all the people that helped us put this show together, and I hope everyone's ex- as excited as I am. As we are. Yeah, for the dungeon drive, and if you're not there, unfollow me. That's that simple. I'm just kidding, but yeah, no, I'm no, very no. excited. No, if you're not there, unfollow the page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very excited. It's something that we've been trying to get done since like June ish. For a while now. Yeah, for a while. Started as an idea, and you know things started slowly coming together. And I'm just very excited. And thanks to the help of a of a, of a lot of a lot of cool people, man, yeah. um, we're able to make this happen into something good. Yeah, shout out uh, the pharmacy, and a big shout out to Faisal and Andres for helping us book everything. Um. Shout out yeah. to Sergio. Shout, Shout out, out to Abel. Abel. Yep. Real ones. Really just. Help is very much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like super excited. I've been wanting to drop the picture for so long since I've gotten it. I was like, ah, fuck it. Who cares if I just post it? Who's going to know? And tomorrow's finally the day. Yeah, tomorrow's yeah, finally the day. Yeah. F- tomorrow's finally the day. But yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm just so excited. And not only not only a shout out to them, but shout out to everybody who regularly tunes into this and and who 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 genuinely is interested in and in, in taking a peek into our stupid lives, you know. Yeah, because it's like I'm fucking stupid, you know. I'm stupid. I'm retarded, and they listen. And they listen. But yeah, that was it. That's all I had. I just want to say thank you for that. That's it. I think we're having a heat stroke is what it is. That No, no, no. I'm having it's, a heat stroke. You're having a genuine moment. You're having a genuine moment. I don't and know. I, I, like, once, once they posted the, the sneak peek, I got really happy. I was happy the whole day. Mm-hmm. You know? And then they're going to drop the show tomorrow. And I don't know. I'm just going to be even more happy. I don't work tomorrow either, so... I'm gonna fucking bust ropes to that picture. Oh, the yeah. The second they drop it, I'm gonna bust ropes, fat ropes. I'm busting ropes on the stall walls. <laughs> Word. Um, yeah. Anyways, I, I think I'm ready. That's a beautiful note to end it on. Yeah, let's, let's go play some fucking zombies, brother. Let's go play some fucking zombies, Episode brother. Episode 135, love y'all. Tap in. Uh, movie quotes and shit like that. All right? Peace.